The vision for languages is for the students to become confident linguists. Okay, so I want them to speak. I want them to communicate. I want them to go home and want to speak with their parents, speak with their brothers and sisters, um, and to go home and practice their language and say that they really like the language and they're moving forwards with the language. And so right from a start, the start, the start of learning language tends to be more vocabulary based. Topics such as, as you've seen today, such, such as pets, uh, numbers, months of the year, uh, members of your family, school subjects, uh, all of these covered in the first year of learning a language and for them also to be able to express opinions and reasons so they can talk about subjects that they like and dislike and their favourite teachers and why and why not and they can start to really express themselves fully within that foreign language. Um, they cover all four skill areas of course, listening, speaking, reading and writing but the goal really is to have confident linguists who want to speak who can speak, and so by the time that they get to the GCSE, they've got lovely accents, lots of fluency, and in particular, they're very confident linguists. We've been learning um, the core knowledge of Spanish and all the um, main things we need to know to be able to progress further in learning Spanish. We also kind of learned how to, how to have a conversation a bit. So we said, say like, hello, um, my name is, and then like, if where you live, any pets, siblings. In primary school, I learned a bit of Spanish, and that was quite interesting, but the teachers, again, weren't very fluent in it. So now we've got a fluent teacher, we can understand more about it. The German lessons, we kind of, this kind of made them fun, so we have like quizzes where we have to try and match the German spellings or German versions of a word to the English version. Um, and yeah, it's kind of made learning a language a bit more enjoyable. It's become a lot easier to learn the language from someone who already knows the language, not learning it together. In Denmark Road, all of the students do two languages right from the start of Year 7 up until the end of Year 9. So there will be a choice of doing two languages out of French, German and Spanish. It could be French and German, French and Spanish or German and Spanish. And they'll have those languages for three hours a fortnight. So lots of work within those. Sometimes have the foreign language assistant come into lessons or to, or to support there. Um, and um, throughout the courses in, in our Key Stage 3, it's really visual, lots of videos on the courses, Biba, Studio in French and Stimpt in German. And it's, it's uh, very modern, um, so the students talk a lot, they communicate, they sing, they inspire themselves, they leave the lesson ready to go home, as many do, practicing with their parents about what they've learned, when their birthday is, what sort of character they are, what they're going to do at the weekend, describing their holidays, talking about their favorite teachers even. Un gato. Un gato y un perro. Un gato y un perro. Un gato, un perro y un amster. Amster. Now you're doing this, miss. You need to make sure when you're speaking Spanish, girls, that your, that your vocal cords are free. The students were learning about pets in Spain, so they know lots of details about the difference, the cultural differences regarding animals. The girls were practicing their accents, they were learning how to roll the R, words like perro, 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 learning how to roll their R, learning how to pronounce all the different letters in Spanish and groups of letters in Spanish. Lots of group repetition, lots of pair work, lots of getting those vocal cords moving and lots of fun in particular in Spanish and all the girls by the end of the lesson could talk about different pets that they've got, pets that they've not got and pets that they would like to have using Meagle study and using the conditional tense.